Mr. Speaker, at festivals and events, consulates in the Canadian Embassy in the U.S., cardboard cutouts of the Prime Minister have started appearing. And much like the real-life version of the PM, there was plenty of selfies, but not much in the way of substance. The cutouts are so vain that the Prime Minister probably thinks a certain Carly Simon song was about him. When Canadian seniors and families are paying for the Liberals' tax and spend agenda, who thought a cutout was a good idea, and how much did it cost? What was the Prime Minister thinking, Mr. Speaker? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The promotional item in question was at the discretion of our missions in the United States. The missions have been asked to no longer use these for their events. Regardless, Mr. Speaker, under this government, Canada is re-engaging in the world to champion the values that Canadians hold dear, both at here and abroad. This includes taking all opportunities to engage with our international counterparts, including the United States, Canada's partner and ally. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable member for Barry Innisfil. Turns out the uh, cutouts became an international embarrassment to the Liberals because of inappropriate things were, that people were doing and posting on social media. <laughs> Global Affairs ordered the life-size effigies taken down as Liberals knew that they were tarnishing the Prime Minister's celebrity persona, and now the government is refusing to tell Canadians how much it costs. Mr. Speaker, in just over an hour, Canadians will find out how much more will be lifted from their wallets to pay for frivolous and out-of-control Liberal spending. Who authorized this half-baked idea, and what were they smoking? Monsieur le Président, cette fois en français, l'élément promotionnel en question a été à la discrétion de nos missions aux États-Unis. Les missions ont été demandées de ne plus les utiliser pour leurs événements. Malgré tout, Monsieur le Président, sous notre gouvernement, le Canada se réengage dans le monde pour promouvoir les valeurs que les Canadiens ont. Ceci comprend saisir toutes les occasions pour engager avec nos homologues internationaux y compris les États-Unis, un allié et un ami mondial. Merci,